Supreme Court orders re-verification of 10% of the people who were excluded from NRC draft published recently. Day-long state-level workshop on Rashtriya Poshan Ma in collaboration with UNICEF in Guwahati stresses on reaching nutrition to every dose test. Much-awaited Bogibil Rail Kam Road Bridge to be completed by December 31st during this year, says GM Construction NF Railway. Union Cabinet approves additional 2% hike in Dearness Allowance and Dearness Relief DR to central government employees, which will benefit about 1.1 crore employees and pensioners. And on the 11th, Asian Games, Arpinder Singh clinches men's triple jump gold, taking the total medal tally to 53. Good evening and welcome to the Notice News. This is Shui and now the news in details. The Supreme Court on Tuesday ordered re-verification of 10% of the people who were excluded from the National Register of Citizens NRC draft published recently. Of Justices Ranjan Gogoi and RF Nariman said the re verification of those excluded from NRC was a sample survey for the sanctification of the court. The Supreme Court directed NRC State Coordinator Pratik Hajela to give a time frame that would be required for the verification of the sample of 10% of the left out people in each of the 27 districts of Assam. We want to examine the correctness preparation of the draft NRC by means of sample verification of at least 10% of those who are left out, Justice Gogo told Hazela, referring to a report submitted by the state coordinator on the page-wise breakup of the people not included in the draft NRC district-wise. In Assam, a one-day state-level workshop on Rashtriya Poshanma was organized by state social Department in collaboration with UNICEF Assam in Guwahati on Wednesday. The month of September will be observed as Poshan Ma in the state, set by the Director of Social Welfare Department, Deveshwar Malakar, delivering the welcome address. Poshan, or Prime Minister's overarching scheme for holistic nourishment, aims at reaching every household with the message of Har Ghar Poshan Tiohar. Inaugurating Shop State Minister for Social Welfare Pramila Rani Brahma said the month long intensive campaign would promote antenatal care, fight anemia, deliver message about growth monitoring of the pregnant woman and children, and also would promote hygiene and sanitation. Brahma appealed to all the concerned departments, including PHE, health, and others, to work together to make the mission successful. The will be observed in the five aspirational districts such as Dhubri, Darang, Nagaon, Gwalpara and Karimganj in the first phase. Speaking on the occasion, additional Chief Secretary, Social Welfare Department, Borwa said, It is unfortunate that Assam contributes 3% of India's stunted growth of children due to malnutrition. So such mission would definitely help to reduce the number of malnutrition cases in the state. It is noteworthy that the target of the mission is to bring down stunting among children up to the age of 6 years from 38.4% to 25% by the year 2022. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee MPCC on Tuesday launched its poster and wall painting campaign to expose the alleged misgovernance by the BJP-led coalition government at the center and in the state. Meanwhile, a poster campaign was organized by Manipur Pradesh Youth Congress Committee against the raffle scam in which the Modi government allegedly misappropriated crores of rupees in buying planes in India. Speaking in connection with the campaign, Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee and PCC President T.N. Haukip asserted that the Prime Minister Narendra Modi-led BJP government at the center created the biggest scam of the nation. Work on the bogey Bill Bridge would be completed by October 31. This was conveyed to Minister of State for Railways Rajan Guhai by Jan 
manager of NF Railway Construction Organization and Kiprasad during a review meeting held at Maligao on Tuesday. The minister was informed that work at Bogibil Breeze site is progressing as planned and will be ready in all respect by October end. Officials of NF Railway and NFR Construction also briefed Gohai about various other projects in the June and also on issues related to infrastructure development and passenger amenities. In Manipur, All India Coordinated Research Project are nematodes in agriculture infall center in collaboration with Wabagai or Farmers Club under the aegis of Directorate of Research Center Agricultural University, IMFAL, organized a one-day awareness camp on the theme, Awareness Today, Nematodes Today. Altogether, 120 farmers attended the program. Scientists in search of AICRP, Nematodes in Agriculture, IMFAL Center, Dr. Setri Mayum Sumita spoke at length on crop loss, importance, symptoms and management in different crops and advice farmers on ways to enhance production of crops on the occasion. Welcome back. Union Cabinet today approved additional 2% hike in dearness allowance and dearness relief, a move that will benefit about 1.1 crore central government employees and partners. The impact on the exchequer on account of both DA and DR would be 6,112 crore rupees per annum. The hike, which will be effected from 1st July 2018, will benefit about 48.4 lakh central government employees and 62.03 lakh pensioners. A three-day annual Mathe Fanit or Chili Festival begins today at Sirara Kum village in Ukrul district with the Manipur Horticulture and Soil Cons Conservation Minister T. H. Shyam Kumar inaugurating the function festival at Chief Guest. Speaking on the occasion, T. H. Shyam Kumar assured to extend all possible assistance to the chili group of the state in order to help them produce more quantity of chili so that the economy can be improved. Stating that the new government, headed by Chief Minister Anne Berin Singh, very sincere and actively working to improve the economic condition of farmers, T. H. Shyam Kumar also appealed to the farmers to cooperate with the government in its endeavor to improve the all round development of the state. On the occasion of National Sports Day, an hockey match organized by Sports Authority of Assam SAE was held between Sashastra Simabal SSB versus Sports Authority of Assam at Maulana Taibulla Hockey Stadium in Guwahati today. Earlier in the morning, jogging, swimming, athletics and badminton were held as a part of the National Sports Day celebration. By Chairperson SSA, Queen Oja, Director of Sports and Youth Welfare Department, Papitra Ram Khan, among others were present on the occasion. Manchipukri Battalion of Nine Sector Assam Rifles under the aegis of Headquarter Igor South conducted a friendly volleyball match at Hanuman Top Company Operating Base on Tuesday. The match was played between Takhil Youth Club and troops of Hanuman Top Company Operating Base. All the participants showed competitive spirit Sportsmanship during the entire match. The youth appreciated the effort shown by Assam Rifles towards creating a healthy environment and developing friendly relations with local populace. Indian boxer shot at least two bronze medals in India's kitty at the 18th Asian Games today. Boxers Vikash Krishnan and Amit Panghal advanced to the semi final round in their respective weight categories. In the women's hepatitis, now, Burman put India in the pole position with 872 points after the javelin throw round. Another Indian, Purnima Hembrang, finished fourth with 773 points. The final event of the women's heptathlon will be the 800 meters race scheduled at 7:10 p.m. Indian time. India are currently on course for two medals in the event. In the women's 200 meters final, sprinter Dutti Chan will be seen in action. Jit Singh and Jinsen Johnson will look to qualify to the men's 1,500 meters final. In women's hockey, India will take on China in the semi-finals. India is currently 8 in the medals tally with 10 goals.
silver and 23 bronze. In squash, India defeated China 3-0 in the women's team pool B match. In table tennis, Indian mixed doubles team of Sharad Kamal and Manika Batra beat Malaysia 3-0 while the Tony Amal Raj and Madhuri Kapatkar defeated Indonesia 3-1 in the round of 32 to qualify for the next round. India's Arpinder Singh bagged goal in triple jump event this evening. The center has issued an advisory to protect children from the suicidal online game Momo Challenge. In its advisory, Information and Technology Minister has outlined the signs and symptoms that a child can show under the influence of the game. The sign includes becoming withdrawn from friends and family, loss of interest in activities and wound marks on any part of the body of the child. The advisory said that parents should monitor their online and social media activity to ensure they are not engaging with get the game the advisory added that parents should take reports from child counselor present in the school at regular intervals the 53rd foundation day of all manipur students union amso the oldest student body in manipur was celebrated at the union headquarters in imphal on tuesday speaking as the chief guest on the occasion North Students Organization NESO Chairman Samuel B. Jirwa pointed out that the Northeastern states have been facing many common issues which are a threat to the culture, identity and livelihood of the indigenous people. The influx of illegal migrants and other threats have greatly affected the demographic structure of the region, he added. First woman chairperson of State Bank of India, Arundhati has inaugurated a new boys hostel of Maricom Boxing Academy sponsored by SBI on Tuesday. Speaking in the inaugural event organized by Maricom Regional Boxing Foundation at the Academy's complex in Langol, Arundhati Bhattacharya encouraged the youths to give all-out efforts and endeavor to bring laurels for the state and the country at large. The two-story hostel was constructed under corporate social responsibility policy at an estimated cost of 2 crore rupees. Speaking to media persons, chairperson of SBI Arundhati lauded all the initiatives of Olympic medalist Rajya Sabha MP Maricom and especially for setting an example for women sports persons. Lamenting that children of today are habituated and addicted to video games and mobile phones, the former chairperson stressed to support the endeavor of Maricom Regional Boxing Foundation. Before winding up the headlines once again. Supreme Court orders re-verification of 10% of the people who were excluded from NRC draft published recently. Day-long state-level workshop on Russia portion market Collaboration of UNICEF in Guwahati stresses on reaching nutrition to every doorstep. Much awaited Bogie Bill Rail Come Road Bridge to be completed by December 31st during this year's GM construction and of railway. Union Cabinet approves additional 2 person hike in dearness allowance and dearness relief to central government employees benefit about 1.1 crore employees and pensioners. And on the 11th day of the Asian Games, Arpinder Singh clinches men's triple jump goal, taking the to uh, total medal tally to 53. And that brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.